Hello, this message is for Lucky Lukele, the uh, uh, Swaziland Solidarity Network, I think is the chairperson. Uh, Lucky Lukele, you see, um, democracy is the competition of ideas. Um, basically, you sell your ideas to the people and you get buy-in. Democracy is the competition of ideas. So if you have a better idea than me, then push it forward and let's talk about it. The GNU is my baby and I've pushed it forward and I think it resonates with the people of Swaziland because it makes the most sense under the circumstances that we're in in Swaziland. Bringing all the political parties together with the civil society, the unions, and, and just form one thing, umbrella body, that's going to take it to to, 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 to the international community, as well as domestic pressure. See, right now, you call this a solidar Swaziland Solidarity Network. The day you just mobilize 1% of the total, 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 total Swaziland population, okay? A Swaziland Solidarity Network, under like you look at. Then you can come talk to me about political education. Right now, you barely reach 1%. You, the highest I've seen, that is all the PPA combined together. They went to the embassy of the United States. And at best, you were 10,000. Now, that's less than 1% of the total Swaziland population. So what it tells me, you have not re really reached the hearts and minds of the ordinary Swazi people. Okay? That is how you measure political success. So I'm not sure of this political success that you speak of, and this mastery of uh, political activism, you as a master of politics, for you to educate me. I live in the United States, the biggest democracy in the whole wide world. I've ran political campaigns in America, okay? And uh, I've, 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 I've worked even in the Barack Obama campaign, and we won in the state of Virginia. So, and we talk about serious numbers not less than 1% of the total Swaziland population. You cannot mobilize just 2% of the total Swaziland population, which is 26,000 people. Just 2%. I'm not asking for big numbers. Give me 2% like you care. Then you can come talk to me about being a teacher. Okay, if you want to come and teach me politics, come correct. Show a record of accomplishments. What you have done in Swaziland politically and succeeded. You have a high school dropout, King Mswati, there in absolute power. He, he has not been moved an inch, you know, in terms of real political pressure. Okay? So, you know, that's just what I'm saying. I mean, I think you're a part of Podemo. Uh, to me, I would, I would, we're not Desmond. Uh, 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 Lee Makanya, uh, you are my next door neighbor and you're personal with me. What I'm telling you, tell your friend, uh, Lucky, that the day he mobilizes more than, at the basic minimum, 2% of the total Swazin population, better yet, if you organize 5% of the total Swazin population, okay, that's close to 50,000 Swazis, a little over 50,000 Swazis, that is what it took in Tunisia to overthrow Ben Ali in Tunisia. So the numbers speak, winning the hearts and minds of ordinary Swazis. Right now, I think King Mswati has the upper hand. I'll be honest with you. And the only way to defeat him is to all of us come together as a government of national unit. Government of national unity was saying, we've lost confidence in this current government that's in existence. We want to form our own government of the people. Democracy is a government of the people by the people, for the people. If you come to the, my forums, you may learn something lucky, as well as you, Desmond, Lee Mapan. I'm winning the hearts and minds of ordinary Swazis from 10,000 miles away from America because I'm giving them an idea that they can look at and see this is what we need. Not la Nose. You are not going to defeat King Mswati the way you're operating. Uh, you are just a rec tech organization, just like the rest of them. People who now want to assassinate Gauzela because he's the fastest rising political star. That is not political education for Monty. No, I don't believe in that. 
when some of your leaders are negotiating business tenders with King Mswati, that's selling out to me in my books. Thank you.